So in this example, uh, the first thing I want to do is identify the vertex. So by looking at my formula, I know that my vertex is going to be h comma k. I don't have anything with this. Right? So I could say my h is 0 and my k is going to be 2. Okay? Nope, because it's y minus k. So y minus 2. So k is 2, not minus 2. The formula is y minus k. Right? So y minus 2, which would k is 2. Um, so my vertex is 0, 2. So I go over there and I plot the vertex and I label it. Please make sure when you guys are doing this, just put a little v there. I'm going to tell you, people get, mis get this mistake all the time. They mix up the focus and the, uh, and the vertex. So again, I'll say this again. It's y minus k. y minus k. So 2 is equal to k. Hence, where are the codes in there? That makes sense? Yeah. OK. Um, so now we need to figure out what the focus is. So to find the focus, I need to figure out what p is. So I have. 4p is equal to 1 half. So to solve for p, I have to divide by 4. p is equal to, you can multiply by the reciprocal if you want, and you get 1 eighth. Not very fun, but that's OK. We can handle this. p is 1 eighth, but that's going to the right. So my focus has a y value of 2, but it's just going over. 1 8 right? So my point is going to be 1 8 comma 2. Does everybody see that? Yeah. And therefore, the directrix is going to be 1 8 in the opposite direction, which is a vertical line. And that's going to be x equals negative 1 8. So you have a parabola that's going to look something like that. Okay. Huh? No, it's not too bad. 